There is a neglected tropical disease, Chistosomiasis. It's, it's, a, it's a neglected tropical disease that accounts for the death of almost 200,000 people yearly. It affects about 285 million people worldwide. It is a slow killer. It doesn't kill as fast as malaria. People live with it. But over a long period of time, it causes severe damages. So once you are beaten, it goes into your system, it grows and then becomes an adult worm and then the worm, it begins to secrete some eggs and these eggs begin to come out of your urine and they need to examine the urine for these eggs in them. Usually that is the conventional method, microscopy. And like you know, microscopy, we need someone to sit behind the microscope, looking into this microscope, counting the eggs to estimate the load infection. So we decided to come up with smart algorithms and with hardware system that can be deployed to the field, can be used by people who are not trained, you know, people who are not experts, so that in rural areas, in low-income communities, you can just take this device there and it can really solve, diagnose, and there can be prescription. We started off with a technology which was developed by Tomitopi Agbana and that technology was to put a camera module in reverse position onto the phone and with that you create a magnified image. With the method of filtering the urine, the eggs will be captured and with the magnifying ability of the smartphone you can see the eggs in the urine and then uh, diagnose someone for schistosomiasis. We're able to come up with a very nice, simple, locally sourced, that's the jaw, you can find it around the market, uh, sample preparation method such that you can filter urine and once that is done you just bring it under our device and then press a button and it will just tell you the amount of eggs that are there if there are no eggs it will tell you the infection load and just give you an output to, to really have good results, you need to have like a, a multidisciplinary team. So I have three master students working on this project in different perspectives, one on malaria and two on schistosomiasis, and they really focus on uh, smart optics, of course, and their algorithm development. We have the students also in industrial design, and then we now work with these students who now do embodiment design, integrated product design. So we just have things running parallel, and that is the beauty of this. Half the team has already been in Nigeria doing some uh, first testing, get some first insights. Now we have two weeks to develop a new prototype and after that I'm going with uh, two others to Nigeria to test this new iteration and to see what are insights we get from it. It's our goal that we can actually set up a production company or something in the future, sometime in the future, on the field in these countries, and they can produce these devices locally, support them locally, deploy them locally, maintain them locally. We already have some testing ongoing, but we want to do large-scale testing in the nearest future.